Is this horse farm appropriate for a large conference, social dinner? I think this place, first of all, is fantastic. So it was great and is appropriate for the conference. Uh, you know that, uh, so we have a lot of young people, but also senior scientists. And this is the perfect place for having more socialization. So I think this is great. No, I don't prefer a clean hotel or whatever, but this, this, uh, this, it's a great place and this is a great place also according to the feeling that we have in our society first of all so we have science but this is also a big family a big family of scientists and we work all together we work in an informal way when it's possible and we have to be formal we are able to be formal but this is the right way for having um, contacts and more contacts with people with young students communicating all of them coming from all countries not only from Europe so this is so the answer is this is a great place was there novelties on the conference well yes we have first of all this year we had uh, this outstanding presentation by Ada Yonat the Nobel Prize that she's not presenting only because she's the Nobel Prize because it's, She's continuing her innovation. So new discoveries, so we are able now to present data related to new discoveries in the molecules, in the biophysics, in biological systems, but with clear application to the real world. So there are a lot of presentations that aim to provide application to say, I study this in a fundamental way, and these are all the potentialities of this discovery. This means we can produce new smart drug delivery system, new something new for diagnostics, for example, for uh, prevention, for example, of cancer, of some kind of cancer. And so I think that there is a lot of application new. This year we have the optogenetics. This year we had also the surprise of having many contribution in computational biophysics. That means that there is a lot of people studying under a theoretical point of view, what can be in a new way, definitely. And we have so many new techniques to go to, I can call, and you call, the nanoscale. So when we talk about the nanoscale, it's not because it's a fancy word, and you say nano is modern. Nano means that today, thanks to the advances that we had in science, in biophysics especially, because biophysics deal with biological systems, under a physical point of view, we are able to understand what happens at the molecular scale, how this influences everything from the molecular scale up to the organism. And so this is relevant. And this year we had a lot of results related to this, not only new techniques, but new applications. I've seen this at this conference now. In her lecture, she presented how investigation of biological processes has been extended with or even replaced by computer simulation. You, you're perfectly right, because now we are at a stage that we are able to have complex computational models. And so imagine this scenario, that we have a lot of data, we are able to grab information from biological system, we know exactly how molecules move from one cell to the other, how cells aggregate to make tissues and organs, how they aggregate when they are tumoral cells or you have some neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer, for example. We are able to provide this feedback to the model and we are able to produce a new model where you can see the effect, for example, 
of a therapy without experiencing before the therapy on humans. This could be a good result because now you have all the data from the field, you have your computational model, and now in your computational model, you introduce the variation due to the drug, for example, and you immediately see which could be the result. And then you go to the experimental part. So I think that we are at this stage. So nanoscale means also this kind of possibility. So controlling from the molecules up to the human level. So I would say that today is uh, biophysics for human. And so this is relevant, I think. This is a, a, a big jump. So, thank you very much. No, thank you. But uh, let, let me only spend only a only few words about one topic that I like, th to say that uh, here in Hungary, you have a great tradition in biophysics. So you were pioneer in biophysics. And most of the things you did in the past, and that you could imagine in the, in the past, now are reality. So it's great being here with this conference, with the biophysics conference. It's an honor for all the biophysicists being here. But not because we are here now talking, but really because here you are the school and you are the tradition. Although there are several Hungarian instrument producers in the field of biophysics, I do not find many in the instrument exhibition area. No, I've seen some of them. I've seen, for example, here in Budapest, you have one that is great. There is uh, femtophotonics. And uh, they are a young company born in this way. Um, yes, I cannot say if there are many companies or not, but for sure you produce also this kind of, uh, I mean, effect on the society, not only in the health, but also in the development of new technologies and potentially in new jobs for young people. That is more relevant. I think so. I would like to mention you a Hungarian biophysical instruments producing company, Microvacon, led by inventor physicist yes. Istvan Sendru. If you don't mind, I will send you information on their instruments. Yes, please. So, okay, so I will send you. Please. Thanks. You're welcome. Your time. No, no. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.